It is that time of the week. It is a corner chat. Let's talk business with Mr. Daniel Steinman and myself, Elsie Bittimiani, as your hostess. We will be talking about something very interesting, something that is not, you know, in our line of, you know, talks, I would say. We are talking sport economics. Very interesting. Welcome to all our listeners and, of course, a welcome to Mr. Daniel Steinman. Thank you, Elsa B. Okay, so Mr. Daniel Steinman, before we get into it, I would just like to know, why are we talking about this? Are there reasons to why you woke up this morning and decided, let's talk about this? Elsa B, I, I was hunting for a subject, mm. one that's relevant to, yeah. to our own situation and to the season of the year. Mm. And then I, oh, my desk, um, on my desk landed a press release of the Desert Dash. Mm. And I thought, wow, sport economics is a very big part of economics in, in the developed world. Mm. But we never see it. Yeah. So we never discuss it. We mm. never talk it. We, we don't break it down. We don't measure it. Mm. There are no sport economic statistics available. Mm. I mean, like nothing. Zilch. Yeah. Because there, there's a hype when it comes to football. It's the chula chula and the who and it the what. It is just perception. But, yeah. It is, it is not really measured. Yeah. But when we look at, uh, you know, the desert dash, I know it's a big thing. Yep. Like people do talk about it. And when you also look at the money that is spent on this. Well, so that, that's the reason talk why about I, that. Elsevier, I chose the desert dash because superficially mm-hmm. from the outside, it looks like a couple of hundred mad people getting on very expensive um, pedal bikes yeah. and pedaling through the desert 360 kilometers Imagine. the whole night to get to Swakop Munt. Now, I am sure there are easier ways to get to Swakop Munt. <laughs> <laughs> but I chose it because it is very misleading in terms of cost. Mm. And I want to use it as an example to illustrate what potential there is in certain types of sport yeah. for Namibia to grow sport economics, mm-hmm. that contribution. Okay. Because uh, currently it is insignificant. Yeah. It is not really uh, an economic sector in Namibia, although, as I said, it's a very important economic sector in the developed world. Yeah. So let's look at the Desert Dash. Mm-hmm. There's this this. I don't know how many, 400, 500 really stupid people that um, <laughs> don't know how to read a map. <laughs> and they they get onto their bicycles mm. in teams of four or two or single participants and they really let it go through the Komas Hochland just to be able to be first in Swakop Mund. Now, also if you look at it, Philosophically, Swakopmund is not going anywhere. Of course, it not. doesn't matter whether you, whether you're there first or not. <laughs> but nevertheless, mm. this this crazy heads they like doing it. Mm. Every ten kilometer, there's a watering point. Mm. Now you think it's just a couple of hundred people on their bicycles. They got their their um, energy drink on their back, and um, they've got basically everything they need. Mm. But it's not the case. And then you look at the sponsorship and you see it's a couple of hundred thousand Namibia dollar and you're trying to sort of crunch the numbers, make sense of it. Mm. So every 10 kilometers there's a watering point. Every 50 kilometers, um, now let's look at the watering point. There must be a table, a chair, an umbrella, obviously water, mm. cool drink, refreshments mm. and a body to man that point. Mm. Then there must be a vehicle that serves all these water points. You can't have the same vehicle mm. for the whole 360 kilometers. Yeah. There must be a couple of them. Mm. So let's say <coughs> there are four or five buckets. Each one is about 250,000, no, maybe a dollar. Mm. Already you are at one million mm. just for transport along the way, just for one function. Yeah. Not counting the bodies, not counting the the tables and the chairs. So you're looking at a at a potential cost I would say of about ten thousand dollar per watering point for the duration of the desert dash. Mm. Now times thirty six 
you see how it's it's escalating. Yeah. It is not now. It's not only ten thousand to get mm. the point there. You need to have ambulances every fifty kilometers. Mm. Expensive, mm. professional people, paramedics, mm. expensive equipment. The ambulance is not two hundred thousand mm. dollars. The ambulance is closer to two million dollars. Yeah. But you don't buy it. I mean, obviously, you pay the paramedics for their service. Yes. You have to have an emergency evacuation aeroplane or chopper mm. ready at Eros Airport. Mm. That thing runs at about sixteen thousand Namibia dollar per hour, okay. just to be on standby. Per hour. Yes, just to be on standby mm. if there's an emergency. Mm. So can you see what's happening now? Mm. Suddenly, if you if you start breaking down the mechanics, uh, the logistics mm. behind the thing to be able to to host an event like like the Desert Dash, mm. now you have to look beyond the crazy bikers mm. and you start seeing it is really expensive okay let's let's just take a, a short break mr daniel steinman uh when we come back we will of course get more into the logistics right let's go for that short break mm-hmm. 